Vaping is less harmful than smoking. That's a quote from Health Canada in 2018. This is true, but have you ever wondered just how much less harmful? The World Health Organization, more commonly known as the WHO, identified the nine worst smoking toxins, including acrolein, benzene, and carbon monoxide. In 2013, scientists looked for these nine cigarette toxins in vapor from nicotine vaping. They found no trace of five of these toxins in the vapor. That alone should be reason for a smoker to switch to vaping. But let's look at the other four toxins. The vapor had a 98% reduction in two toxins and a 96% reduction in another. The last one, formaldehyde, had a reduction of 83%. And it's important to know that formaldehyde is naturally present in all exhaled breath. So vaping virtually eliminates the nine worst toxins found in cigarette smoke. Being that this analysis was done in 2013, how many smokers since then would have switched to vaping had they known about this toxin reduction? More importantly, how many of them have been diagnosed with a smoking-related disease because of these toxins? As stated by the FDA in 2018, make no mistake, we see the possibility for ENDS products, like e-cigarettes, to provide a potentially less harmful alternative for currently addicted individual adult smokers who still want to get access to satisfying levels of nicotine without many of the harmful effects that come with the combustion of tobacco. Citizens have a right to life, meaning they have a right to all the information to make informed decisions about preserving and improving their health. Millions of citizens are hopelessly addicted to cigarettes. We should help them learn that they have a significant harm reduction option with vaping. So if someone you care about smokes, send them to vaep.info. Our nonprofit makes it easy to learn the science behind vaping.